Recall that the sample mean, x bar, is an unbiased estimator of the population mean, mu. This implies that the sample mean, x bar, is the best point estimate of the population mean, mu. Using this single value, this point estimate is a single value, using that to estimate the population mean doesn't give us any indication of just how good our estimate is. So in this section, well, as we discuss estimating a population mean, we're going to learn how to construct a confidence interval to estimate mu, rather than a single point, an interval estimate of mu. And our confidence interval will consist of a range or interval of values instead of just that single value. So the procedure we'll use has certain requirements. Let's look at those. We must have a simple random sample and we either are starting with a normally distributed population or we have a sample size greater than 30. Or we could have both. That would be fine too. Now our confidence interval will be constructed using a chosen confidence level. So we have to have this understanding of our confidence level and the confidence level gives us the success rate of the procedure that we will use to construct a confidence interval. So as we've seen before when we studied the estimation of a population proportion, the confidence level is the probability 1 minus alpha that the confidence interval that we construct actually does contain the population parameter. In this case our parameter is mu. Assuming that the estimation process is repeated a large number of times. And common choices of confidence levels are these three. 90% which means our alpha is 10% or 0.10. 95% with the associated alpha of 0.05 and 99% with the associated alpha of 0.01 and as we've said before the 95% is the most common.